we're gonna be smashing a fucking heathen chest day. I'm gonna start with up bench because I like to start with compounds and I think incline bench is it's one of my favorite chest workouts. I feel like it builds the chest really fucking nicely. So I'm just gonna warm up with the plate and then go up and up from there. Try to keep it nice and reppy and maybe work down and rep and up and weight as I go. Second set, we're working out with it, doing 185. Still gonna try to keep the reps high in the 10 to 12 range at least. And um, yeah, fucking get it. This set I'm going to 205, a little bit heavier, gonna try and keep the reps like six to eight range. And after that, I might go a bit higher with a spotter and see how I feel today. And then after that, I'll do a burnout set, one plate, very wide grip, just to really get out here. There it goes. It's good to really like flex, puts more blood into the muscle, helps you with the lactic acids, plus you assert dominance so everyone around you knows that you're fucking better than them. So I got, I found myself a spotter. He was like sitting in the corner, like crying. I was like, hey man, you wanna like help me, like help me help you. And he was like, all right, dude. So anyway, he changed his life around, like got huge, like in like the last 30 seconds. And uh, yeah, he promised me that if I'm choking out, to uh, laugh at me and walk away. So you can't really ask for any more than that. Less than a minute after your heavy set or last set, I like to get a super wide grip, my thumb on the ring, wide as I can, drop the weight in half, and try to get at least 12. So now we're gonna do a cable superset. It's gonna be chest flies. It's one of my favorite things to get just a like crazy pump because it's like you stretch so far back there in them. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go slightly heavier, step forward, kind of a down motion. Then we're gonna go lighter and kind of pull them up in front of you. Get a good squeeze. Wait, 
How you do it, folks? It's like coming, like coming everywhere. When you're doing your high intensity sets, like your bodybuilding style workouts, you want to leave yourself like two minutes maximum between each set, uh, or else you start losing blood. It's just more optimal to just like keep it going, keep it going. push up a number because there's so many different styles of training. Maybe you're trying to hit that number, so do that. If you're trying to grow muscle, you want to be thinking, how can I make this weight hard? Not, how can I move this number? You know what I mean? I could I could throw it up to 100 and lift it like shit and get fucking nowhere. The only thing you're gaining is ego. But I have that 30 pounds right now, and what's the problem I can get? I'm only 30 pounds on each side. Keep it tight. Keep it concentrated. You literally need the most menial amount of weight just to get that stretch at the end there. The squeeze is all you. Make sure when you do flies, you really reach back as far as you can. See a lot of people pulling shit like this, just kind of swinging it. You only do your fucking as yourself. Only 30 pounds, make it fucking work for you. Because if you think about it, there's goes all the way up to 170. If you can make 30 pounds hard, then you have so much more room to grow. You give yourself so much more opportunity that way. Although free wits are great, we all love them. Don't count out all the machines and different shit like that because as far as getting a pump goes, they're great. I'm not gonna say if you wanna have like a world record bench, you should always be focusing on machines because that doesn't fucking make any sense. You should be focusing on free weights. But if you just are about general fitness, or you want to look good, do not exclude machines. A lot of things about machines is there's more than one way to use them a lot of the time, other than the conventional way. This, for instance, it's a chest press. So, the conventional way to use a chest press. Obviously, like the guy on the picture. There's a picture on every machine showing you how to use it, so you don't fucking kill yourself. Although it would be pretty hard to win this thing, it's not like there's a bar coming out either. It's conventional weight, it's like this. Now look at my chest, when I do this. Yeah, it comes up. So if you reverse your grip, watch out my slower pop. Chest press, and then I'm gonna superset it with a variation of this machine. Work right here to get that nice and tight. You're gonna love it. After this, drop the weight literally like 20 or 30. It's gonna be really light. So you're not gonna be focusing on the weight, you're focusing on your squeeze. Set the height so it's about here. When you put your shoulder straight out, turn it up 90 degrees. So I can make it higher. 
Right up there. Not that high. So you're gonna squeeze right here. You wanna wrap it up. You wanna get a good 20. We're going to a fucking time machine. Old school one. We're going to be doing a landmine press. A lot of fun down involved in this one too, but it's really good for every test as well. When you put this down, be careful. Go back first, let it down. So you don't explode your chest open like a fucking, like a fucking alien coming out of you, going into you. Instead, way worse. Because everyone will look at you and make fun of you for a fucking alien. For the start of your workout, you obviously want to warm up, lower weights, and then get into the heavier weights. And I also like to do the same thing at the end of my workouts just because uh, you're final lifts are going to be less than your starting list because you're a lot more tired. So I like to gauge out what I'm able to do. So I started with a single plate on the landmine press, added 25 on top, see how it goes. 